letter that every member of Congress from Texas has in their inbox right now. Mayors across the state say they need help. Nearly 100 cities are represented on that list, and the man who wrote the letter is with us this morning. It's the mayor of Arlington, Jeff Williams. Mayor, it looks like you are at City Hall. Good morning to you. Yes, I am, Jason, and good morning to you. Well, to start with this letter here. What have you heard back from federal lawmakers in the days since you sent this? Well, we've gotten a very favorable response, Jason, and it's uh, across the country. Cities have been hit with this natural disaster. It's much like a hurricane or tornado or, or flooding. Uh, you know, and when these things hit, we need help for emergency and medical services, which we certainly received. And then now we need money to be able to rebuild our community so that we can be the true economic engine that this country needs right now. And I know you put this letter together pretty quickly to, to get to D.C., but I'm curious roughly how much money are we talking about? If you don't know collectively, how, how much does Arlington need? Well, for us uh, there, we can look, we have a $20 million shortfall right now, and that's from March through September. And then, of course, uh, most Texas cities are all looking at a major reduction in our property tax revenue because of property values going down. Other states, it's going to be their income tax going down because people aren't able to work. And so, consequently, we are projecting that it's going to be $1.5 trillion reduction uh, here over over the course of, the, of this next year and losses here to cities across America. One and a half trillion, how, how much of that do you think is made up here in Texas? I don't know the answer to that, but we definitely can tell that it's, uh, we have been a state that has been hard hit too. We yeah. have not escaped the, the virus. It knows no state boundaries or no city boundaries. It has gone all across America. And Mayor, not to overstate or misstate, but what if Texas cities do not get the financial assistance from the federal government? What will happen? Well, it's going to be a longer economic recovery, and we're not going to be as effective in helping our businesses and our families in, in recovering from this. And, of course, as I mentioned right at the beginning, uh, cities are one of the main uh, economic engines of our country. And, and of course, also uh, our citizens are looking uh, here to our cities to help lead them out of this. Uh, we have been one of the big creators of jobs. We we build more infrastructure than any other entity in in America and so we're going to be crippled uh, and we we need help just like we have always gotten uh, when we have a hurricane or tornado. The difference in this is that we don't know how long this virus is going to last. Neither do we know how long the economic impact is going to be. And so it does make it harder uh, there to to be able to predict the future. Yeah. But we know too we have an unseen enemy right here. But we need to be able to uh, recover and people need to be able to put food on the table. Mayor, for our viewers across the state, Arlington, of course, is the home to the Dallas Cowboys and to the Texas Rangers. Uh, how much is the city losing right now in tax revenue without baseball this summer? Well, a lot of that 20 million that I just projected from March through September is is directly related to baseball. Uh, there, needless to say, uh, we also have events that are that would normally be taking place at AT&T Stadium, and then Six Flags would be in full swing. And uh, none of those things are happening right now. But I could go on. Shopping is uh, uh, at a at an all-time low. Our restaurants are doing less than anyone else. Our manufacturers have been crippled and then we don't have students at the University of Texas at Arlington. Normally we'd have 44,000 there. Mm. You see in each one of those categories, we are seeing that hit uh, cities all across the state and across America right now. The story is the same that uh, we, this virus and this natural disaster hits the economy. And, and then Mayor, finally here, I, I want you to tell me briefly in the final moments how this letter came about. You got almost 100 mayors, you got 96 of them from across the state large and small mayors, small city mayors to sign on to this. Did you get on the phone and talk to everyone, email, what happened? 
No, basically, uh, we I did get on the phone and talk to some, and uh, then from there, word spread. Uh, our Texas Municipal League helped us too, but we put this together in about 48 hours. Uh, there, it wasn't hard, and we knew it wouldn't be hard to uh, to be able to get the the signatures to sign on. And it's happening this way across America too. Yeah. Cities all across America are banding together because we want to see uh, our citizens to be able to uh, enjoy uh, a great prosperity like right. we were before this virus hit. All right, Mayor Jeff Williams from Arlington. Good to see you again. Good luck to you guys. Thank you, Jason.